Some top politics for you now, facing the possibility of another Trump-Biden matchup in 2024. Many voters are looking for a potential third option. A Gallup poll found last month that 41 percent of American voters consider themselves independent, so not Republican or Democrat. And the group No Labels is looking to capitalize on Americans' dissatisfaction and is working to present a unity ticket. One Democrat, one Republican to challenge the status quo. Nancy Jacobson is the group's CEO and co-founder. She says her group is facing pushback from the right and the left, certainly from the left for sure. Nancy, I think there's some confusion about what No Labels is and what you want to do. So why don't I just give you the floor for a moment to explain that? Okay. Well, first of all, thank you so much, Dana. We've been around for 13 years. We formed and created and built the Problem Solvers Caucus in the Congress, the only by two, uh, bipartisan go-to group. We matched it with Senate allies. So we've been around for a long time. But what we're doing now is to provide a choice for Americans. If we come to 2024 and this country doesn't want the choices that are served up, we're getting the ballot uh, in all 50 states to offer Americans a choice if they want it. We call it an insurance policy. We don't have to do it. If the American public doesn't want it, we stand down. One ticket, one time. What is your, me what is your measurement then if the American people want it? Well, we're, we're going to see. I mean, we're going to wait until April because that'll be after March 6th, Super Tuesday, and after Florida. It'll be very clear who the choices are. And we'll know it, just like we see all the polls right now. Right now, nobody wants the matchup of Trump-Biden. It's very clear. It's it's all over the place. Let I mean, me one show. of the most recent polls was 70 percent. Yeah, let me show a couple of polls here. This is Marquette Law School poll. Uh, the question being choice for president, including someone else option. Trump gets 41, Biden 34, someone else gets 19. And then uh, continuing on, Marquette poll, call for number two. Would you like to see Biden and Trump run for president? Biden, that's a no at 76 percent. Trump, a no at 64 percent. You can understand, I, I would imagine, why the left and the right would both be wary of a third party because they're not really sure how that would go. There are many people, especially on the left, who have come after you because they believe a third party option would pull voters away from Biden, but that Trump would still win. You've, there also is an accusation out there, or maybe it's true, that you tell me that that no labels is saying that if Ron DeSantis is not the nominee, then you will decide to go ahead and do this. What's the clarity on that? Yeah, let, let me set the record straight. Our focus is whatever, you know, if there's an opening where this ticket, a unity ticket, just remember what this is, one Republican, one Democrat walking into that White House in 2025, January, focused on the first 100 days for results for the American people, finally getting results for the American people. If it's clear that they uh, don't want the choices and this is a, a winning ticket and we can win and not spoil, we're going to go do it, right? Uh, if it looks for any reason like this is going to spoil it, we step down. We're not cowboys here. We're just people that want to give the Americans the choice, and they'll decide. Nancy, one of the accusations coming from the left is that your husband, Mark Penn, who is a longtime pollster, he's somebody who comes on our air, he worked for Bill Clinton, but he does a lot of polling, uh, and that the accusation is that you are doing his bidding. Would you like to respond to that? Oh my goodness, Dana. I mean, listen, I've been in politics well over 30 years, right? My last assignment was Senator Evan Bayh for 15 years. He resigned. He got worn down by the uh, hyperpartisanship and the dysfunction. I created this organization all by myself, right? It was my idea. I've worked at it as a full-time volunteer for 12 years, uh, every single day. It is my life's work. And, uh, you know, this is what I do. But I, I know it's hard for people in this day and age to think that actually a woman can stand up and have their own idea and have a force of personality and, and go forth. But listen, I'm going to keep going on because I've always been committed to the common sense majority ever since I came, came to Washington 35 years ago. One last quick question. Is Joe Manchin, the senator from West Virginia, your choice for this possible third party unity ticket? Yeah. But listen, Joe Manchin, we've known he was at our launch in 2010. He is the honorary co-chair with Senator Susan Collins of the organization. And he is a terrific uh, legislator. And, uh, you know, he stands for this politics. But we this is too premature. We have okay. not uh, you know, he, made any decisions. And he decisions hasn't said whether he's once. not running for Senate again. So, Nancy, thank you for coming on the show. I know it's your first interview you've ever done. Thank you for being on. Thank you. Oh, she did well. <laughs> she did.